I have another favor to ask of you, and you're the one whose expertise I trust the most, my friend. I'll compensate you fairly for your efforts, of course. I would need you to take a picture of a carcass left behind by a red fox. There's this particular need zone I know of, that way you don't have to look around for ages. Just a second, let me send the info to your hunter mate. Thanks for your help. Okay, so the mission we're now doing is a thousand words. Hmm, okay. Find the red fox need zone. That's where we're going. Okay. Oh, do I have to cross the... I've got to cross the water, and I? Okay, so I'm gonna have to get myself all the way over there. Uh, the easiest route would be just that, to drive. That uh, photo it. is that for the talk you'll be given on predators in Boston, Trev? Yeah, exactly. I have this section on red foxes. I'm going for something easy and accessible, so I'm describing their behavior, eating habits, impact on ecosystems, stuff like that. Yeah, you can learn a lot about the red fox just by studying the carcasses it leaves behind. And a picture <laughs> is worth a thousand words. Okay, well, he's saying that the red foxes are over this way. Ha! Ah. So this is the carcass. Looks like a small rabbit. There we go. How's it going with your hunting videos on the web? You still doing those? Yeah, you bet. It's awesome being able to reach people all around the world and introduce them to hunting, wildlife conservation, environmental threats. It's impressive that you're still able to put so much energy into it. I wouldn't be able to do that on top of my responsibilities as a warden. The way I see it, there are two sides of the same coin. I can't live in my own little bubble and hope for the best. I love sharing what I know, and I listen to people in return. That's the best I can do. 